I have Dominic Cody here, who is absolutely a part of the heritage and the roots of Weeks for Kids since the very first reason that Weeks for Kids got started was Laura Hody and his aunt. And it would have been an absolute incredible thing for you to see is to see what he did. So I'm going to let him now tell you what you did to get all this money for us. <laughs> <laughs> tell us, Dominic, what did you do? So I ended up doing a live stream. I told everyone that this charity and foundation was made for my, my aunt, and I thought that was really cool and it's something that's really close to me. And so what I would do is I had a live stream where all the money that was donated, I would just put straight into like the amount of money I donate. And then we ended up raising $200 in like two hours. <laughs> and then I matched 200 and then my dad also matched 200 so. Wow, that is amazing. You know, it's amazing to hear the stories. How old are you? I'm 18. Uh, let's give a shout out to your, your high school. Oh yeah, Saint Saint Edwards. Edwards. That's really Edwards. good. And it's, it's really amazing where people's hearts are. You know, it really is important to us that people realize we're not just putting hair on kids. We're putting a smile on their face. We're oh, giving yeah. them self-esteem. And your aunt, some of the stories you don't maybe know, because I don't know if your father shared with you, she would be just absolutely a, a, a stitch because she'd get her hair piece, she did her all her stuff, you know, the gymnastics and all the things that she did. And she never, ever let the hair loss bother her because she always had hair. Mm -hmm. But she'd be sitting in one of our, our studies, our youth studies, and if somebody was making some noise or something, she'd take her hairpiece off and throw it at them. They would freak out because some of them didn't even know she had a hairpiece on. Mm -hmm. And But she made life fun for everybody around mm -hmm. her. And you just giving back has got to be just another plus of, uh, of excitement for us at Weeks for Kids. It's really I, I love what you guys do here. And it's, and it's cool because it gives like the people that they have hope, but it just gives them a reason to smile. And that's something that's really cool. I like that a lot. We say that the hair is not attached to the follicle, but it's attached to the heart. Mm -hmm. And that's really, really what you're helping us do with. $600, that is amazing. That is absolutely incredible, Dominic. I wanna thank you. I wanna thank your family because they've raised you just like Laura would be proud of you. Every bit of the moments that she looks down from heaven that, you're continuing the legacy. Thank I you. I want to thank you for everything you've done for my family, too. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Listen, if you're a young person, don't think you can't give and give big. You see what Dominic does? I want to challenge you. In fact, Dominic, let's throw out a challenge to everybody out there that they challenge to make that next effort to give. Beat Dominic. <laughs> Come back and do it again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Hey, Wigs for Kids was here for you. If you're someone who has hair loss, uh, you just need to contact us at thewigsforkids.org. That's wigsforkids.org, all letters. And if you have somebody who wants to donate hair ponytails, we're looking for longer and longer ponytails. That's always what takes a lot of what we need to do for providing a child with a wig. And if you want to help in any other way, let us know. But give us your comments. Enjoy listening to the stories of what we provide for you each and every week in regards to stories about young people and beautiful people that continue to give from their heart. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. And remember, beauty begins within.